Hey, what's up guys? We are back and we've got another build series. What's gonna be great about this series and I think what will be interesting and maybe educational is that we're gonna be attaching our building to this existing structure. This is like a, a, a garage stick frame, shingles, wood, all this stuff. And we're gonna be putting our post frame package right up against it and we're gonna be attaching it and so what that does obviously is it adds another level of i guess difficulty we got to take a little bit extra steps sorry if the wind is out it is super windy we're out here in god's country and if you guys remember the last series we were killing ourselves working in some extreme cold a lot of snow and today it's 60 degrees so the one thing they say about northern illinois if you don't like the weather you just wait a couple days and it's gonna change. So what we've got here is this is gonna be a 66 wide building. So the trusses will clear span 66 foot. They're gonna be a double truss, so we're definitely gonna beef up the truss system. And then it's gonna be 56 foot long. The first thing that we're gonna do and we always do is we wanna get our layout proper. So Greg is over here, you can hear the, the beeping of the laser. And right here, we've got the layout station and we're basically determining a perfect parallel line off of this garage that we can get marks out on the very far corners. And once we've got those exact parallel lines off the corners, we can then use them to find our square lines, which are gonna be our perpendicular lines out to the far corners. And once we do that, we're at least insured that we're gonna have a nice square building to the existing structure. So that's what we're working on right now. We'll get into this. Make sure you guys are gonna follow along. I'm telling you, we've definitely got some great builds coming up here in the future, and I will do my best. Wow, it's windy. It's really windy. I will do my best to uh, you know, showcase them as much as possible and answer you know, as many questions as possible because in the end, uh, I've said it before, if you aren't learning, you're dying and uh, I'm gonna do my best to teach, but also be taught if there's something that we can do better. Now that dimension that Greg just marked, it was just an arbitrary six inches off of the, uh, the outside edge of the wall because obviously with this wall here, we've got these random pipes. We couldn't run a line exact, so we just kind of do an arbitrary number off of that wall and, uh, and kind of get that parallel line established and then from there we'll mark back to find our exact dimension. Now Greg, I'm curious, we were uh, six inches yep. over there, so where are we? Here. Six and a half. So we're about six and a half inches and what that means is, you know, I mean that's fine. Concrete guys, they do their best. My guess is they didn't have a layout station like we do but this thing doesn't lie. Once we've determined this line, that's the best we can do. You know, you could come out here and just measure six inches and go off of that, but then it's not gonna be exact. So what we'll do now is that line will be our constant line, just like every building we lay out. And now we're gonna use it to lay out the rest of the building. Six and three sixteenths quarter inch over here. All right, so burning the foot, Greg, I'm looking for 66.9. So now that we have that parallel line, marked and, and located on both corners at the front. We're gonna come to the back here, and yes, that's the, uh, that's the MRT 260 being my GoPro mount, so gotta love it. So that right there, that's gonna be perfectly square with that front corner, which is parallel to the back wall of that garage. So now that we have that, you guys have seen this, if you haven't, it's so easy. We're about an inch and a quarter off, which that's not unheard of, guys. That is not unheard of. Quarter inch on... A quarter inch off, not an inch and a quarter. Oh, yeah. Quarter inch off. And I say we, we're not. I mean, we didn't do the concrete work. Now that we have all of our corners marked, which is very, very simple with this to be I couldn't imagine trying to do that. Um, couldn't imagine trying to do that in this wind that we have. But the wind isn't blowing the... Uh, 
the top of the wall off. So before we snap our lines, we've definitely got to blow some of this dirt off so we can get a nice clean snap line. Greg, this is like one of those uh, Instagram videos. Nice, that looks great. Oh my God, it is I think even windier now than when we showed up. I think they're saying maybe 40 mile an hour gust. Um, trying to clean up all this foam insulation so it doesn't blow around. What I also like to do is go behind myself, use a marker, like a Sharpie or whatever, and put a permanent mark. I know some guys, they spray like some clear lacquer or whatever to just cover the line. That way it doesn't ever go anywhere. That's a great idea, I don't have any. So, um, mental note, I need to do that. We're gonna call it a day. We got all these brackets that we could mount it in. Um, we experienced a little bit of trouble I don't even know if you guys can hear me. This wind is ridiculous. It's, uh, I think they called it over 40 mile an hour gust, but out here where, I mean, look around, there's nothing. Um, nothing but basically open ground for wind. This build, guys, I think is gonna be awesome. Tomorrow, our lumber's supposed to start showing up. Our trusses should be here in two days. I can't even hold this camera. Literally, the wind is so bad, I'm gonna, there, I'm just gonna hide down here by the uh, scissor lift. That is so much better. We're gonna do our best to uh, put the best building we can up right here, and I hope you guys stick around, um, ask questions, be engaged, and maybe you know draw some inspiration into a future project of yours. We're so blessed to really get to build you know, project after projects for awesome clients who, you know, maybe been dreaming about this particular garage addition that they've always wanted or shop or whatever it is. Uh, I'm just really fortunate to get to do it. And I'm really also fortunate that you guys are interested enough to allow me to share it with you guys and you keep coming back. So this one's definitely gonna be unique. There's gonna be some cool stuff and I'm gonna take you through that process. But we're gonna get out of here because I'm tired of this wind beating me in the face. Not that we can't handle it, it's that we're really basically done until we get our lumber. So we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you guys stick around and we'll catch you on the next episode later.